Have you booked your tickets to Belgium, but are you wondering what to do there? Well, leave the worrying part to us because we are here to help you out. After all, it is pretty easy to jot down what to do in this amazing place. It is a country that has everything from beer, chocolate, waffles, and fries, so you won't run out of things that you want to enjoy. Let's not wait anymore and get right into the top 10 things to do in Belgium. Welcome to Travel Moji, your exclusive boarding pass to access the world. In today's video, we will take you on a virtual journey to Belgium, and together we will explore the top 10 things to do in Belgium. Number 10. Have beer. The first thing you should be doing as soon as you put your foot in this country is to have some beer. Belgium is the number one beer country of the world. There are nearly 800 to 1,000 different beers in Belgium, and they come from breweries all over the country. If you are looking for a specific name, a famous smaller brewery is the Half Man in Bruges, but you can taste great beers in just about any tavern or brown bar as we call them. After all, it's got the tag of UNESCO World Heritage for its beer scene, so it is indeed safe to say that any Belgian bar is worth it. Flaunting of best Belgian breweries, Leuven is a big name in the list of best places to see in Belgium. But it's not just home to breweries. You can also see happening marketplaces, street side pubs, cafes, and churches, and galleries. In fact, it is also the best place to stay during your vacation with some grand hotels scattered all across the city. Number 9. Mons. To get some peace. While some might love to rave in a party after a good beer, and we will definitely come to that soon, some might also be looking for some peace and quiet after a good drink. And the best place to do that is surely Mons. A large cobblestone square, grand palace, and age-old town hall await every tourist that visits Mons, which is the picturesque capital of Hainaut, province of Belgium. The most beautiful thing at this place is the sweet tunes of town's magnificent belfry bells, which are perched at the top of a 250 feet tower. Number eight, walk through the pages of history. If you are a fan of history, you might already be knowing that Belgium has suffered a lot both during World War I and World War II. Not only have these events left a mark on people's lives, but it has made its mark on the country's attraction as a tourist destination as well. Every year, people from all over the world come to Belgium to visit Flanders Fields, a place that should be on the top of your list of World War memorials. You can also visit the Breen Donk Fortress. Another popular attraction is Arlen, a place close to the borders of Luxembourg and France. Quite evidently, it was on the crossroads of multiple invaders throughout the past. There were Celtic, Roman, and Gaulish settlements in the area, and all the fascinating traces of a rich past can be found in Arlen. You can also pay a visit to the Archaeological Museum of Arlen. Also, don't miss out Ypres, the town that represents the losses of World War I through the battlefields around, war museums, and memorials. The number of memorials and museums across the country is endless, and honestly speaking, it would take more than a simple trip to visit them all. Number seven, bond with nature. Probably the reason why you are visiting Belgium in the first place is because you have heard of all of the beautiful scenery this country has. And trust us, that fact is close to the truth. Genk is one of the best places to visit if you wanna check out great garden city design, marshland nature reserves, quiet park, and more. You can also take a hike or bike ride through beautiful Hoge Kempen National Park while in the city. Also, do not miss out the North Eiffel Nature Park if you are a nature lover. This beautiful landscape is home to rare species of flora and fauna, deep valleys, and forested mountainsides. If you are having a lucky day, maybe you could even spot the very rare violet copper butterfly, starling-sized dipper, a sight only a handful of people are lucky to see. Number six. If you want to just spend a day to just breathe Belgium in, Court Rijk is the place to be. The place has a wonderful historical center with several market squares, churches, colorful shopping areas, and also a creative area. You can make a quick getaway to the Brel Towers, which are the icons of Court Rijk, 
and make up some of the top places to visit in Belgium. Kortrijk also has many restaurants, lunchrooms, and coffee places where you can try some amazing dishes that will give you the taste of Belgium. Kortrijk is the place to be if you want to stay in a shopper's paradise. Number five, visit a beach. We all know how amazing beaches are. What's more amazing is that Belgium has some of the most beautiful beaches of Europe. Pack your bags and head to Dijon, a picturesque village situated on the shores. The 11 kilometer long beach is lined with great restaurants, chic cafes, exciting bars, and some of the best homestays in Belgium. If you are visiting Belgium with your better half, Dijon's white sand and the amazing nightlife will make it the most romantic getaway ever. And if you are indeed on the lookout for romantic getaways, don't miss out the streets of Concessi. The stunning Belle Epoque buildings and the Grand Town Hall will make you. In the mood for adventure? Try hiking and biking on the enormous sand dunes or visit the exciting amusement parks. There is so much to do and the list is just endless. Number four, food and diamonds? Ever thought food and diamonds go hand in hand? Well, at Antwerp, it does. Not only that, it is one of the best places to experience Belgian culture, art, and traditions. Antwerp has also got other mixes on its plate. On one hand, it showcases vintage architectural wonders and palaces, but on the other, there are some modern and trendy art galleries and museums. But what it is the best known for are its great food, beer, and diamonds. This place is the Diamond District of Belgium, as more than 70% of the world's uncut diamonds are traded here. Strange combinations, but worth it, isn't it? Number three, have a picnic day. Located very close to the city we just talked about is Mechelen, another lively and picturesque place you definitely should visit in Belgium. You can start with the famous boat tours and brewery tours. If you are feeling energetic, go for climbing the massive tower of St. Rombout Cathedral to enjoy the breathtaking view of the Antwerp port. Or visit the world famous Carillon School, which is famous for lessons on the complex instruments of bells. It will be really unfair if we don't mention Mechelen while talking about the best places to visit in Belgium. Number two beautiful cathedrals. Located at the Belgium-France border, Tournai City houses one of the most beautiful cathedrals of the world. And not just cathedrals, this place is also a hub of art and sculptures. Obviously, it's a favorite for art lovers and history buffs who visit throughout the year. Just another place in Belgium that tops the list for artists is Ghent, a quaint and serene town. It is endowed with historical sites, medieval structures, and churches of Belgium. It has got a surreal blend of history and laid-back vibes that make this town one of the most unique places to visit in Belgium. Number 1. Brussels it would be very wrong of us to imagine that one wouldn't visit Brussels if they go to Belgium. Being the capital city and one of the largest hubs of great museums, palaces, chapels, and mansions, Brussels is obviously one of the most popular places to visit in Belgium. World-class cafes, pubs, restaurants, and shopping arcades, 
Brussels offers you everything that a classic European holiday should be all about. Well, that was all for the top 10 things to do in Belgium. Of course, the list is too short and Belgium is a country to get lost in. But these are just some of the many, many things you shouldn't be missing out on. Do you want to add some more things to this list? Let us know in the comment section below. Also, do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. We will be back very soon.